there, my name is Wishy Fogarty, and you're welcome to Secrets of Kerry, a Captain's Story. Teddy Garman, Captain Kerry, to their first glorious All Ireland victory in 1903. Jim, what do we know about him? He's gone back so long now. I think you'd have to start by observing that he was probably the original cute towny forward. Um, himself and his twin brother, Jamesy, featured on the 1903 final, and Jamesy also was on the 1904 final. And judging by the reports of the time, they're referred to in the Kerryman as scientific ball players and that seems to be a contrast with the run around catch it at random and, and pass it on so it, it sounds a bit like Eamon O'Sullivan you know this idea of keep your position but work your man I think Tady was playing uh, inter-county football from the age of 19 or 20 the Kerryman records has him in 1905 at 28 and uh, he was playing for the Trilly Mitchells the only Trilly side uh, from 1896 onwards. So he was playing from 1718 in senior football for the whole town side, and he was playing inter county from the age of 20, I think. And he didn't miss a game, according to the Kerryman, yeah. in that time. So he must have been a hell of a player. The 1903 final was played in 1905, and he got married soon after. I remember my grandmother saying around the table one day, I said, well, you know, Jamesy, my grandfather, played in the 1904 final, which was played in 1906, where was Tady? And she looked at me kind of incredulous and she said, he got married. And I kind of asked her, well, what does that mean? In that time, farm labourers wouldn't often play because the danger of injury in the game would mean they, they couldn't farm anymore. So it was a much more townies game. There was a, a bit of folklore knocking around our table in those days that married men were expected to give up the game. We know from the Kerryman's references, they described him, and I, I think I quote, he's a, a well-made man standing about five foot eight inches and is 28 years old. He says he's been playing football with the Trilly senior team since he was 17. He took part in his first inter-county contest about eight years ago, and we cannot remember his absence since then. The personality bit, um, there's a bit of a story there about the um, first Kildare game because the, the twins played in respective corners. And my grandfather, James, was a bit of a quiet man, you know. Tady was a bit more spiky, let's put it like that. And you know, I suppose captains need to have a bit of, of that about them. So what happened was that the Kildare cornerback was, was giving my grandfather a bit of a rough going over. And they had a chat in the, at the interval. And Tady said, tell you what we'll do, we'll swap corners, identical twins. So the Kildare cornerback, picks up where he left off at the start of the second half. He starts giving what he thinks is the same player, another dig in the back, and gets a belt for his troubles. Gets up, not too offended by getting belted, but the indignity said, you weren't like that in the first half. Not realizing, of course, they were twins. You know. Some Kildare supporters described him as a great bit of stuff. Well, they did, but again, but again, I mean, I'm sure they were very, I'm not taking anything away from them, I'm sure they're very talented. If, to play for Kerry at any stage, you're going to be talented. But actually what it hadn't dawned on the Kildare supporters was there were two of them on the pitch. So the Kildare supporters apparently muttered to some of the Kerry supporters, who is that lad in the corner? And they said, that's Gorman. He said, he's a great bit of stuff, isn't he? He seems to be everywhere. He died in 44, 1944 at 67. Um, and he was manager, we have a picture here, as you will see, of, of the Rock team in 1928. So the Trilly Mitchells was the general Trilly team, and then obviously John Mitchells and the Rock were formed. He'd moved down to the Rock end. And um, of course, he was to be the father of James Gorksy Gorm, as we, we nickname him. You know, that Gorksy was his son. And um, Gorksy went on to win three All Irelands. I, I remember talking to Eamon Brown, the, the um, the very fine librarian and, and mad keen GA historian. And he made a very good point to me. He said these were the first superstars because, you know, you didn't have television, you didn't have radio, and you'd get the word of mouth. You'd be down Rock Street waiting for the chalkboard to go up in the Kerryman offices to see how we'd done. And if I can just give you a little quote from the Kerryman 
of the time. It says, Tady is the captain and he deserves more than inky acknowledgement of his generalship of the team. There is hardly a finer or more experienced player in Munster or in Ireland than our worthy captain. I mean, I think in fairness, you can't expect more than that, you know. So you asked, what's the secret of Kerry? Well, you have been watching just one of the 32 captains that you can view on this magnificent new DVD entitled Secrets of Kerry, A Captain Story, which in itself is a history of Kerry football. <laughs>